In this video, I'll be demonstrating how to use pressure sensitivity in GIMP. Now this will work if you have some sort of tablet input device, like this bamboo tablet from Wacom. I happen to have one. If you're not familiar with a tablet, it's basically like this picture shows, a pen and a writing surface. The pen acts as your mouse. With GIMP, usually when you're painting, you have one solid line and you can change the opacity, but it's quite tedious. And so, if you have a tablet which senses pressure, you can actually emulate more of a physical pen, where if you press harder, the line is darker, and vice versa. So, if I just plug my tablet in, this little driver comes up, it's from bamboo. You don't need to really change anything. Most tablets have pressure sensitivity built in with them. And so I'll just open up GIMP. And I find it's better if you plug in your tablet before opening GIMP because it might not recognize it otherwise. If I create a new image right now, and if I draw with the mouse, you can see I have one line and there's no variation. And if I switch to my tablet, it also looks the same. Now the reason is we haven't told GIMP to use the tablet. So go to Edit, Preferences, and then under Input Devices, click Configure Extended Input Devices. This should get you to this little screen, and here's your core pointer, this is your default mouse, but right here you can see there's a Tablet Eraser and Pressure Stylus. These should be different depending on what your tablet is, but they should have some type of indication that it's a tablet and not a mouse. But see how they're disabled? You want to change this to screen or window. And click save and I'll do that for both of these devices. Now close and if I click OK, you'll see this little dynamics thing over here has defaulted to pressure opacity and now if I draw with my tablet you can see my line can fade in and out and I can even write something. And you see it's kind of a bit awkward but you need to get used to it. It emulates a pen very well and you can change, see this pressure opacity one is the default but they have many different options here. Go up to like basic dynamics if you click this edit over here on the right side you'll see this little mapping matrix and this shows you what portions of the pressure sensitivity are affecting what characteristics of the brush. If you want to see what they do you could change to pen generic. See how if you go in circles and go faster the line kinda gets pretty scratchy. There's a bunch of these to play around with random color that's kind of interesting gives you a weird effect. It's cool to play around with these. They make graphical work and drawing stuff from scratch and give much easier. If you do decide that you don't want the pressure sensitivity but still want to use the actual tablet pen, you can select dynamics off and then you can draw and it's pretty much like drawing with a mouse with much more accuracy. That's pretty much it on how to use a pressure sensitive tablet with GIMP. 